Have you ever taken a quiz on Facebook or read something that totally caught your attention and captivated you online? Well, chances are that Israeli company Playbuzz had something to do with it. Playbuzz is a Disney-backed storytelling platform used by major brands worldwide to author, distribute, and monetize interactive stories that drive audience engagement. Here to tell us more about this incredible Israeli startup is Yael Shafril, VP of International Partnerships at Playbuzz. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So, let's jump right in. What does Playbuzz do? So actually, you define it amazing. Uh, basically, we're a storytelling platform for the creation, uh, uh, distribution, and monetization of, of content. Uh, we transform content from uh, passive messaging to interactive dialogue with a user. Uh, we do this in order to uh, bring storytelling into the uh, uh, to, into 2019. Mm -hmm. And the idea is that the format that worked uh, 500 years ago when newspapers uh, were originally invented is uh, not really uh, uh, working today. Not relevant anymore. People attend, people's attention spans are decreasing, as you mm -hmm. mentioned, and um, the idea is to uh, understand that people are consuming uh, their, the content mainly on their uh, mobile devices, and we want to come up with something that will be really uh, effective, assuming that they have lots of content uh, on this device, and uh, as a publisher or as a brand, we want them to prioritize our content. Mm -hmm. So you have clients all over the world. Can you give us some examples of companies that you work with and also what exactly you do for them? All right, so I'll give uh, maybe two examples that represent uh, the two branches, the two industries that uh, we're working with. Mm -hmm. So on the, on the um, advertising side, so going uh, back, we work with two industries. Okay. On one hand, the supply, the publishers, and then on the other hand, the demand, the advertisers. Mm -hmm. And we bring these two together. So uh, as an example, we work and we won a digital award with Huffington Post. Uh, UK that after the Brexit uh, decided that they want to make sure that uh, young uh, audience, millennials, interact with uh, and consume uh, political content. Uh, it's about okay. time, a little bit too, uh, <laughs> too, little too late, but still, they actually uh, did a, a wonderful work and they embraced uh, our, uh, our tools and um, implemented them into their uh, news coverage, into their storytelling systems, and um, uh, made sure that um, their audience is really consuming political content. Mm -hmm. On the other side, on the other side, I can give the, as an example um, Unilever. Uh, it's a brand that uh, decided to include uh, Playbus as one of their uh, worldwide partners. They call it uh, Unilever Players, and the idea was uh, to, um, on one hand, decrease their dependency on the duopoly, Google, Facebook, mm -hmm. and on the other hand, uh, to come up with um, content marketing. Um, 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 tools that will uh, not only increase engagement, but will also uh, provide them with data, which is in the foundation of Unilever strategy, and mm -hmm. allow them to uh, learn about their users and uh, really maintain an ongoing dialogue uh, that's um, tapping into their users' preferences. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk a little bit about today's culture of social media and web browsing. Uh, as you mentioned, people's attention spans are very short nowadays. So how does Playbuzz play manage to engage them? So um, Playbuzz is, first of all, uh, it's about physical gestures, right? When you, you look at your phone and then it rings, or uh, you, know, you have a mail that you need to answer, then you, uh, you're most likely not to come back to uh, a story you were uh, consuming. But when uh, the content does two things, one, it engages you physically, where you really um, uh, do like physical gestures in order mm -hmm. to discover. Or where it, when it, uh, it uh, talks about you, right? It's a user-centric uh, kind of content. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to uh, uh, gain a reward uh, throughout the consumption of the content. For mm -hmm. example, I ask you like, uh, uh, can we say uh, in 10 uh, questions, what kind of journalist are you? And mm -hmm. then you'll start answering and then you, you'll be waiting to uh, get a reward. To get the answer and the, yeah. Exactly, so you're, most, you're more likely to come back and also mm -hmm. more likely to stay if you're not disrupted. Okay, and in what way does Playbuzz disrupt the industries that it operates in? All right, so um, I'll, uh, I'll zoom out and, okay. uh, and say a few words about the industries. So both advertising and uh, publishing are uh, very, very uh, volatile and sensitive businesses. Mm -hmm. Both are um, disrupted by the big four, uh, mainly Google, Facebook, as I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, on the publishing side, we're seeing publishers uh, struggling uh, to maintain their businesses. Mm -hmm. And what we're uh, trying to do is first increase their stickiness with uh, this uh, new forms of storytelling, as I, as I mentioned. And mm -hmm. second of all, provide on top uh, monetization solutions. So we're both uh, providing with outsourced tech a solution that mm -hmm. uh, help them to engage their audience mm -hmm. and we bring uh, revenue on top. We do this either with our interactive uh, tools or with our uh, video monetization solution. Uh, on the advertising side, uh, what we're doing is we are allowing uh, brands, as I mentioned uh, with the example of Unilever, to, uh, um, to kind of um, um, transform uh, the way they communicate with their potential clients and really understand them. What we uh, want to say is that the advertisers are um, um, now um, changing the way they, they think about their consumers. Mm -hmm. um, they're not only trying to um, like chase them on the internet, they're trying to create a demand for their um, products. Mm -hmm. And they're doing so by provoking an interest and by uh, after engage, like provoking, provoking this interest, meaning creating an engagement, mm -hmm. uh, following up with their proposal to the client. So the key thing here is to just engage users as much as possible, essentially. For sure. The, the key thing is that uh, it's not about uh, you as a, as a brand or as a publisher. It's about your user. And once you uh, understand it, the specific user, by the way, it's no longer a, a huge mass of people. You need to really understand the specific user that you are approaching mm -hmm. and then uh, come back to him with a personalized message. So going back to the example that I gave you about the journalist, mm -hmm. let's say that uh, I will um, uh, identify that you know, you're the type of journalist that uh, will uh, always find a unique angle, then I will uh, come back with uh, or end the, the item with a specific offering for you as this specific journalist. Mm, I see. Well, Yael Shafir, thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak with us about PlayBuzz. My pleasure.